It is a momentous anniversary for civil rights in the United States. 50 years ago, what started as a peaceful march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, became known as Bloody Sunday. It marked a turning point in the movement. But as Jay Gray reports, the fight for equality in Selma goes on. 50 years later, the struggle continues in Selma, a place where unemployment is above 10 percent, nearly double the national average. A small town like so many, framed by empty and run-down buildings. Each day pre presents itself with a new challenge, a new experience. But I am very hopeful in the city that I was born and raised in that um, a new day is on horizon for us. Defined by their past, this weekend marks a half century since Bloody Sunday, when hundreds of peaceful protesters here were met with violence during what's been described as the last revolution of the civil rights movement, a march for equality and the right to vote. We were determined to get the right for all people, regardless of the color of their skin, to be able to file a ballot to determine their own destiny. Dr. Frederick Reese was a foot soldier in the March on Montgomery. Yes, I saw blood flowing. Pandemonium broke out in the crowd in a state of disbelief that this was happening in the United States of America. A country that now led by its first African-American president this weekend will celebrate the sacrifices made in Selma. Progress, but those who took the first step stress, not the end of their march. I will always be marching. And my biggest march is for our young people because they are the voices of hope. A hope that comes from the history here. An 85-member congressional delegation will join President Obama and former President George W. Bush at this weekend's Jubilee celebration here.